So we'll start with the plasma. Plasma is the reason that blood is a liquid. And so plasma is over 90% water. The other 10% that constitutes plasma includes over a hundred of different solutes that are dissolved within the plasma. These things include proteins, nutrients, metabolic wastes, and respiratory gases. Basically the things that blood is probably carrying along with it as it's functioning in transport. So then the formed elements make up the rest of the blood, and we could think of these as solid components of blood. These would be the erythrocytes, the leukocytes, and the platelets. Now these formed elements, or in general the blood cells, do not divide or reproduce. Instead, Blood cells are formed through a process called hematopoiesis. This is when we have stem cells, which are in the red bone marrow, that are able to differentiate into all the different types of blood cells. So this occurs mainly where we have lots of red marrow. So this will occur in the bones of the axial skeleton, in the girdles, so the shoulders and the hips, and the epiphyses of our large long bones, such as the humerus and the femur. These stem cells are originally undifferentiated, and then they'll get specific signals that will tell them to develop into certain types of cells, whether we need more red blood cells for oxygen transport, or we need more white blood cells for fighting infection, or maybe we need more platelets to function in blood clotting. But depending on the signal that these stem cells in the bone marrow are given, they will develop into the specific kind of cells that are needed.